In the last video, we calculated that a moving car with a mass of 1000 kilograms at a speed of 72 kilometers an hour, you would need to have a spring mass to store all this energy, this kinetic energy of 200,000 joules, to store all this energy in of the mass of the spring was somewhere in the order of well half of the weight of the car I believe it was 455 kilograms somewhat like this so really really large really really heavy uh, this this mass of 455 kilograms is a uh, spring uh, is steel steel the material of this spring is steel in this video I want to show you that it's possible to do it differently with uh, another material and for this material I take natural rubber. Let's let's see what natural rubber do does. So on the internet uh, I looked up at matbase.com uh, you find some specifications some properties of natural rubber and all the numbers we need for to fill in in our uh, specific energy formula which was uh, the stress squared divided by 2 times the Young's modulus times the density and Young's modulus we have here Young's modulus we have here density and we have some thing well some numbers about stress so we can uh, make an assumption of what the specific energy of natural rubber is and then we can do all this calculation of this car over uh, another one another time so let's see if I take the numbers um, well I don't want to go all the way to the tensile strength I would prefer the yield strength but rubber doesn't have a yield strength so let's take a conservative number of 10 instead of the 20 or 30 that is here so we are not stretching it to the limit we stretch it to a to somewhere where I believe that this natural rubber is uh, you can do this over and over again so and then the Young's modulus, uh, we can find one as the minimum value, maximum value of five. I take two. That's also the number that I found at a site where they sell Linatex, which is natural rubber. And uh, this number of two is a, is a good number to take. So let's fill it in and see what happens. If we have, um, and let's compare it to the E specific of steel. Let's keep that in mind that the E specific of steel was uh, I believe it was 400 what was it four hundred and forty joule per kilogram so let's do this this will be 10 then far less than the 1200 from steel but then again the Young's modulus is far less than the Young's modulus of steel and the density I take 9, 10 to get joule per kilogram For the density, I should have taken 910, 10 to the power of minus 9, but I take 10 to the power of minus 6 to compensate for the Newton millimeters, which would, which would be millijoule instead of joule. So now we have the, the right units and the right numbers to these units. So if I fill this in, in my calculator, I come up with a, a huge number which is far huge, far more huge than this, this 440 and it's uh, 27,473 joule per kilogram if I divide it by the specific energy of steel then you would see it's um, 62 and a half times larger than this, this 440 of steel so you would need 62 and a half times less mass of spring spring mass when you use natural rubber than steel so steel so natural rubber is is far more effective in uh, storing energy into this this material by stretching it so if we have this this uh, car problem where's our car uh, the car which had a 
energy, kinetic energy of 200,000 joules. Now we get not a spring mass of 455 kilograms, but only, uh, well, we can divide it by 62 and a half. We can also calculate it all over again. Let's do that last, the last one. So we divide the kinetic energy by the specific energy of this natural rubber and we come up with only a spring mass, a spring mass of 7.28 kilograms. And this, I believe in this, this, this is a, a spring you can actually make into a car. The only disadvantage of natural rubber is that it hasn't the long levity of a steel spring. A steel, you can over and over use it again and again and again. And if you use it not now, but over in 10 years, then you can still use this spring. Well, with natural rubber, you would have to replace the rubber when the rubber has uh, degraded. And it de degrades uh, under uh, UV light, uh, under uh, all different uh, temperatures um, so um, well there are there are of course different um, properties to the different materials but this is really a huge difference when you compare it to a steel spring I'm always um, before I knew this before I calculated this this uh, with numbers um, I tended to think of springs as steel springs you, the, the compressive springs you see everywhere and um, well this really made me realize that um, there's more to springs than just steel you can use different materials with different properties that are far more effective in uh, storing energy than the steel ones